triangle is my favorite. Kicking it old school with the Mac camera. You guys think my ears look bigger than they did pre-T? I'll put up a picture. We did, we had visitors today. I'm not going to do too much here because I'm going to throw some singing in. And my one month on T, no, <laughs> my one month <laughs> post-op. I am one month on testosterone. Somebody asked me on Tumblr, did shaving your facial hair help it grow? And I don't think it did. It just made me feel really dysphoric. <laughs> I thought it helped me to pass and it made me feel a little better shaving off the peach fuzz before it was growing in, before my facial hair was actually growing in. Because then you can like tell that you shaved and you don't see peach fuzz. But I think I read that somewhere, so I'd just be in my head. I read somewhere that shaving does help, but I don't think but it that's, does. But it, it takes away, like the sun hits your face and your facial hair goes blonder and then you shave it off and then it grows in darker, but it doesn't grow in thicker or more frequently. Yeah, and as it far as thicker. I know. I read about leg hair and I'm pretty sure it's the same with all hair, that when you shave it, it grows back blunt, so it looks Right, thicker. exactly. Exactly. Jess, come say hi. Hello. Oh my god, our hairs look so flat. I do that too. <laughs> this camera lighting is not that bad, huh? Mm-mm. Is that what it looks like in real life? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're a bit bleached out, but that's about like how much you see it in real life too. Well, I did put, I did record some with the regular camera, so I'll just throw that mm -hmm. in here, and here, and here. <laughs> it's swollen here, and it's swollen, not as swollen as it was yesterday, but it's more swollen on this side than here. And do you want to tell them about the light we're using? We have a light thing mm -hmm. that her grandparents let us borrow. It's called a Bioptron light. Basically, it's like a Hungarian invention that was sold to the Swedish people, which my granddad has to tell me every day. And it's for healing. It's, you know, alternative medicine. It's great for all sorts of things, but it's also good on scars. So there's different colors, which are actually the chakra colors, but orange is quite good for renewing and healing. So that's the one we've been using on it. And we do this for about four minutes on each side. We should be doing it twice a day, but we're doing it once a day. And coconut oil. And coconut oil. And we got some zinc cream as well. Yeah, because it was really, really cheap. Really, really cheap. And it um, it's just to sort of tie this over until the scar tape arrives from America. My mother is sending us a scar tape. It's because the cheapest it's... in the US. Yeah, it's really, really expensive in Europe. So yeah. This video may be very long. Hope mm -hmm. you guys don't mind. It's really sunny out. It's nice, yeah. Somebody asked us to... Would you ever think about doing daily vlogs? I would love to do daily vlogs, but I don't know if people would watch them. I enjoy vlogging. I was gonna do a vlog, a daily vlog, day before yesterday, but the one that I posted yesterday is actually two days put together. Honey, they can't see you at all. They're not even gonna watch if they can't see you. I don't know, there's not that much footage every single day because I'm like recovering and all I do is like make tea and talk to you guys. Um, I can't like work out yet or really. I mean, but when we go out, we can vlog. I don't know. Daily though, like, that sounds so boring for you. <laughs> yeah, we don't do exciting things really. Like today we had a vi we had visitors. I suppose that would have been exciting. And the kitten got to meet a kid, and that was that was pretty interesting. Um, but that's it, really. I'm not feeling the best, so we can't really go anywhere because I'm a bit. Because. Because I have an upset tummy. You don't want to tell them about the lip jaws. Oh yeah. Um. Basically. I mentioned, I think, in a video, but that wasn't put in, was it? I don't think I put that in. No. So, um, I take medication for depression and anxiety. Um, I've been lowered over the last few months. So now I am only taking 19 milligrams of Cymbalta a day. 
but due to a Hungarian holiday my doctor wasn't in his office when I needed my refill and he's only in his office once a week and then he works in a hospital but he was taking a holiday from the hospital so my long stories <laughs> okay I'll give my story short I used to take more medication, now I just take 90 milligrams of Cymbalta, but there was a mess up with my doctor, so I was left without medication for a week. There we go. So, yeah, I'm having withdrawals and my tummy isn't the best, even though I'm back on my meds now. Withdrawal is not fun. Was it yesterday, last night, or the night before I thought I was dying? It's been like a whole week of that. I'm gonna go now. Anything else? No. Bye.